Hello, hello, everyone. How are you all doing? Ah, uh, hello, Ira. Oh, you're awesome. Anyways, they can be so can lurk and lie down. Can I have a good stream? Oh, I hope you feel better soon. Hello, Doc. Good to see you. Hello, Ari, and hello, Fran. Thank you for the lurk. Let me do the works real quick. Hello, Maddie, as well. Welcome. Uh, 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 and... uh, uh, how are you all? It has been a bit because I've got a partner visiting and that's just been a whole thing. Yeah, but I'm doing pretty good right now. Just best I can, really. Uh... Got into a fender bender earlier today, and that's just been a bit rough, but I'm doing all right. Yeah, like, just no one got hurt. It was only minor damage, so everything's gonna be okay. Hey, Twitch, suck my cock. Twitch, you can go fuck yourself. Why the fuck is the word lesbian banned in stream titles? It's literally part of the name of the game I'm playing. Why is that not allowed? What the actual shit? Like... Actual bullshit, come on. Oh. Yeah, not too bad, good, I'm glad. Mimigan, oh, thank you for calling my aunt's cute, Ari. I need to quickly recycle my, uh... Yeah, quickly cycling my macro pad so I can do blushes and such, but yeah, ah. Yeah. But yeah, uh... We're going to be playing a super lesbian animal RPG tonight. And I am super excited. I have been looking forward to this for a while. It is just like, it looks super cute by some cool folks. Like, it's just got such a good aesthetic. It's RPG Maker. Can't really go wrong with that. But yeah, uh, oh, I'm just super excited. Yeah. And, of course, this is going to be my last stream of the year. I'm doing, like, a New Year's party with some local partners tomorrow. That should be real nice. We're just going to, like, hang out, chill. We're going to, like, watch the Wachowski Speed Racer movie. Movie. Going to be fun. Yeah, uh. Yeah, then after that is, like, Parallel Play is going to be in the new year, which I'm excited for, but yeah. Uh, there's also, like, um... Isn't there, like, a new event, like, starting, uh, like, yeah, like, isn't, doesn't Heaven's Turn start tomorrow in F14? Like, it's Starlight, so, like, it starts as soon as Starlight Celebration is done. <laughs> yeah, aw. Oh. Yeah, it's been nice getting back to FF14. I went away from it for a while while I was playing Pokemon, which reminds me, I do have to get the... Uh, I do have to try out the Cinderace Raids. I want one with the title, even though I can, like, just get, like, a bread one. Yeah, uh... Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. It's just really nice to be streaming again. It is something I enjoy a lot and just haven't been able to for a little while just because things have been really hectic. I'm getting used to my job now. I'm still only going at like 20 hours a week, but that is like a nice paycheck. <sighs> ah, just... Things have been going... Uh, things have been rough recently. They've been really rough. But, like, just, they're gonna get better. And I will not let things happen otherwise. Also, uh, co-host today added, a uh, Swatch Internet Time support, <laughs> which is... Like, oh my, uh, which is just very, like, <laughs> I love it because, look, look, Swatch Internet Time is peak dumb 90s bullshit. Like, just dot beat Internet Time is just, oh. 
That's, that's so, it's so dumb. I love it. With all my heart, just like, why would you ever want to, why would you ever use that? Why would you, like, it's just so different, like, it's just so not in line with how any of the rest of time systems work. Like, the units are different, like, there's, like, centibeats and such. Yeah. Love Koho so much, yeah. Yeah, like, just... It's just... It's incredibly dumb, and that's why I absolutely love it. And, you know what, uh, real quick, I'm going to... Uh, just... Ah, uh, big sneezy. Yeah, um, I am gonna just quickly put a note onto, like, the HackMD for my gadget that you need to have... You need to have a dot B clock <laughs> display. Just because, like, I'm doing, like, dumb 90s bullshit. But yeah, uh, speaking of, like, dumb, silly retro tech stuff, um... Yeah, I've actually started up a new, like, yeah. I've started up a new, like, Discord guild. Uh, focused around, like, just retro tech and, uh, yeah, and, like, just especially, like, modern tech with ret retro sensibilities, which is something I absolutely love and I want to do a lot more with. And it's just great. Yeah. Yeah, I like just... Yeah, the server's called Cuddle Tech Industries. A couple of y'all are already in here. Like, Ari's, you're, you're already in here. But yeah, uh... Y'all want an invite? Just let me know and I can just drop it in chat. But yeah, ah. With that, how about we switch over to Super Lesbian Animal RPG? The g yeah, the game that Twitch doesn't want you to name your stream after. Months. All right. Let's go. All right, yep, yeah, F1 for settings, F5 toggle for display size, yep. Yeah. yeah, I am fine with this, like, display size. Okay. All right, so arrow keys to move, sprint, all right, Z to select, X for menu or cancel, shift to sprint, got it, yep, pretty standard. I tried to get my, like, uh, yeah, I tried to get my, uh, controller set up for this, but it didn't work for some reason, I'm just, I'm guessing it's just something weird with Steam or RPG Maker or something like that, but yeah. Wait, game was designed to be played moderate challenge for fans of RPGs and care more about the story than challenge boost that and can be changed at any time. I'm gonna go with normal. Okay. Ooh. Over 1,000 years ago, the goddess Fortuna granted the mortals of her planet the gift of magic. Making sure that this audio level is good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. If please let me know if anything needs to be adjusted. I can't like hear prop like I can't like fully tell from my side, so letting me know if the game is too quiet or if I'm too loud or anything like that. Like just please just let me know, okay? I super appreciate it. Yeah. Over one thousand years ago, the goddess Fortuna granted the mortals of her planet gift of magic. Sounds good for now. Good. The single act of kindness forever changed the course of history. Now able to harness the art of the gods, the mortals flourished in this new arcane era. Love the color scheme of this. Woo! Thank you for the Wops Catacryptids! Mm -hmm. Ah, welcome to the stream! <laughs> Grand cities powered by magic were built. Plagues were cured. The lands were connected by new means of transport. Yeah, like, just got these airships up here. That's tight. What? Oh, 
Hello, strawberry rat one. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I love... Oh, magic futurism! Yeah! Oh, I love magic futurism. Centuries later, most people have grown accustomed to their fantastical reality. Magic now coexists with modern technology as a part of everyday life. I love this. I absolutely love this aesthetic. Especially if it's like 90s like modern technology. Like doing like... Like do... I want to do magic with a fucking flip phone. I want like my spells stored on my flip phone and just... Uh, I have so many... Like I have so many ideas for stories with that. Oh... Just such a good vibe and aesthetic. It's great. I love it. But even today, many young people still find themselves chasing dreams of fame, glory, and moderate financial stability with the help of magic. Okay, so we got magic, but we do still have capitalism. Like I know what my job is. These people seek to become adventurers. Very cute setup. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really proud of it. The Sapphire Islands. Ooh. I love this water. That's so good. Oh, man. Hey. Hey, what if we meet a dragon or something? That'd be pretty cool. Surely we'd... We've already met a dragon at some point. What about back in high school? Wasn't one of our classmates a dragon? Are you thinking of Josh? He's an armadillo lizard, not a dragon. <gasps> oh. Oh, yeah. I love these two already. I love their vibes. Look at them. This is good. This is really good. What about you, though? Anything you want to do as an adventurer? Maybe, uh... Maybe we could, uh... Hmm. I guess I haven't put that much thought into it. I don't know. I'm not too picky. Hey, be honest with me, Mel. Are you still down for this Adventurer's Guild thing with Claire and Jody? Mel, you're still excited, right? Oh, looking out for others... Mel, but, like, that's... That doesn't matter if you're not. This is a great opportunity for you. Oh. You know I'm pumped. I'm grateful that you want to support me. But this is a huge undertaking for you, too. I mean, of course I'm nervous. Yeah, our lack of tangible progress so far hasn't been the biggest confidence booster. But we're doing it together, right? At the end of the day... I think that makes it worth trying. That's the spirit. We'll be the coolest fighting duo, duo Green Ridge has ever seen. Wholesome lesbians, yeah, they're great. And man, how lucky am I to have such a cute adventuring partner. Oh, stop. Get a room, you two. Who's there? Were you in the middle of something important? Oh. Duh. Come on, Mel. Let's finish this little treasure hunt. Well, let's see. The next clue is travel north until you find the spot where two paths cross. All right. Looking for a big X. Okay. All right. So no menu yet. Got it. Oh, that's a big X. I think this is it. <clears throat> nice work, Mel. Well, I mean, this is less two paths crossing and more like a big X someone made with dirt, but this is probably it. Now, let's see. The next clue is from there, search for the lonely tree. Right? Very lonely. That's a lonely tree. This looks like the loneliest tree out here. <clears throat> uh, 
I don't know. It doesn't look lonely to me. Feels like that's projecting our expectations for how it should feel. <laughs> oh my god, Alice. Yeah. Please seize the out-of-pocket comments about the quality of the clues. Now let's... Oh, wait, I think I see something up ahead. <sighs> Treasure! For your final test, you must use your wits to discern the identity of the one who has summoned you here. Claire, what are you doing? I'm gonna take the snarky one. Claire, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, come on. Was it really that obvious? Who else would slide directions for a scavenger hunt over my door, under my door this late at night? Okay, true. So, what exactly was the point of this? Just more training or something? Yes, and no. Claire's cute. Yeah, no, Claire's adorable. I need- I needed to get you in an adventurous mood to prepare you for what happens next. Now, our guild missions over these last few months have been... less than optimal. Yeah, we know. But what if I told you I have something that could change that? A book. Magic candles. Okay, who the fuck are we summoning this time? What I have here is... Oh, oh shit. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're going into this. Jasper, thank you very much for subscribing at tier one for 10 months. Welcome back to the Overgrowth. Love you, hun. Behemoth Boar appears. Okay, this is a fucking guy. If you hadn't just beat up Claire, I would want to pet him. What do we got? Nothing. But transcolor up food is so good, yeah. Fight! Go on. Fight! I like the star pattern of, like, the attack. Okay, um, I think it might be better to guard, because this is not fucking around. Ouch. And it attacks at the start of the turn. Oh, the behemoth boar ch chomps down on Allison's cheap sword, shattering it. Ah, crap. Yeah, and like just we don't guard until after it attacks too, which is not good. Yeah, I guess no matter oh, no matter what we do here. Kinda screwed. Oh, trying to play the head. Okay. Claire! Hi! Get out of here, you! They're kind of scorch. Oh! Oh, that... That gave us a point-ish thing. Okay, I guess that's for weaknesses? Neat. Allison, are you hurt? I've survived worse. Just glad you're okay. Ooh, she's strong, yeah. So... That wasn't part of the plan. But... I'm impressed by what I just saw. What, me getting my butt kicked yet again? A lot of people would have given up after so many setbacks. But not you two. Your hearts are in the right place, and you're willing to put in the work. You just need the power to back it up. Which is why I have... This book contains a sacred ritual Passed down to us by Fortuna, the goddess of magic herself. It also has an absurd amount of magical energy, which I think is what attracted that monster just now. Whoa, where did you get that? I found it while it's... Did you steal... Claire, Claire, Claire. Did you steal this book? Claire? 
Did you steal the book? Who did you steal the book from, Claire? I, like, be gay to crimes, but who did you steal this book from? Because I think they might be a bit angry. So, as the story goes, when Fortuna first taught magic to us mortals way back when, nobody had the training required to cast spells. But instead of giving up on us, Fortuna came up with a ritual to awaken her acolyte's latent magic abilities. And I just so happened to have the instructions for that right here. It won't give you the powers of a goddess, you'll still need a lot of practice. But it'll give you a running start. You just have to answer questions. What do you say? Is this cheating? Is this cheating? Is it really fair to just get magic powers for free? People work hard for those. I mean, it's not free. You'll still have to work very, very hard how to get to figure out how to do anything with your new mana. What's really unfair is the thought of you two being left in the dust just because you didn't have your whole lives planned out at age four. God, yeah! Oh, fucking... Ah. Yeah, that shit's... No, like, no one should know what they're gonna do with their life until they're, like, 30. That's my hot take. Like, just, you should not be expected to know what you're gonna do with your life until it's, like, almost halfway done. Like, come on. Like, just... 30 at, like, the youngest. I should not have... Exp I should not be looking for a career when I can barely drink. What the fuck? I mean, come on. You probably would have started training years ago if you knew adventure wasn't a pipe dream. This is just a nudge in the right direction. Make up for lost time. So, it's HRT for magic. It's magic estrogen. Okay, yeah, I'd go with that. Okay, when you put it like that, this sounds like just what we needed. Well, Nelson and I'm in. Excellent. Let's start with you, Melody. Why do you want to be an adventurer? Well... Allison wants to join you and Jody in your guild. But she knows I'd be worried sick if she ran off without me. But do you have a reason you want to, Melody, not just because of Allie? So I thought, well, I'm not really doing anything else with my life. Maybe I could go with her and look out for her. Try to keep her safe. Okay, now you're actually getting somewhere. I see. I'm not the best fighter, so I think I'd be more useful if I had healing magic. I mean, I've tried being the healer, but without magic, all I can really do is hand out potions. I don't want to keep being the team water girl. I assumed you'd make a great cleric. Well, not quite. I was thinking I'd rather be a... a paladin! Ooh! Oh my god, magic paladin, magic paladin, magic paladin! I'm... You have my attention on it. Ah. Uh, really? Like a noble crusader with a code of honor? All that... You sure? What? No, I totally have a code of honor and all that jazz. I guess you know yourself better than anyone. I trust your judgment. And you, Allison? You know me, adventuring's in my blood. I just want to be strong and fight monsters, really. Care to be a little more specific? Evil monsters would evil monsters would be preferable. I don't have any reason to fight nice monsters. Okay, smartass. But 
If that's all you're going to give me to work with, you don't get to complain if you think your powers suck. No promises. Right. Now, let's begin the ritual. Woo! Oh dear. Relax, it's just a little spell. I'm following the instruction to the letter. Whoa! Is this dangerous? Oh, absolutely. Where am I? Melody, are you still with us? Can you hear me? Uh, oh, yes, I can hear you, Claire. Got us worried there for a second. I wish I could see what you're seeing, wherever your consciousness is right now. Anyway, Allison didn't need as much magic, so he's already done. But I've still got a few final preparations to make for you, Melody. I'd suggest you look around a bit while you wait. Okay. Ooh. Now this is pretty. I like the, like, uh, the dithering used for, like, fading between the colors on the stars. Aces. Um, hello, Arya Freeze. Welcome. This is Super Lesbian Animal RPG. A new really cool game that just came out this week? Or last week, I think. Uh. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, oh, it came out on the 20th. Yeah. It's neat. Ah. Yeah, no. It's just a really cool gay game. Yeah. Not sure I remember to say anything at any point, but hi. Hello. Yeah, you said hi a little bit ago. But yeah. This. Yeah, like, just this game is. Super, who are you? That's not a spectacle. Claire, there's some kind of shadowy figure watching me here? Is this normal? Huh? Oh. I don't know. Maybe. Either your nemesis or your shadow, yeah. I've never experienced this myself. That might always. Uh, hello? Oh. It just disappeared. See? It left you alone. It's fine. I'm sure it's more scared of you. Far of it. Nemesis, yeah. Alright, I can't follow it. But... Oh. And let's... Ooh. Okay, Melody. I have one last question to ask you before we can complete the ritual. A whole lot of magical power is currently being channeled into you, and we need a way to focus that. You want to be a paladin, and paladins derive their power from faith. I'm not really all that religious. It doesn't have to be religious. Let's just try filling in the blank. My power is derived from my faith. What about the power of love? That's the cheesiest thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, I know. But it could work. Especially with how inseparable you two are. This idea sounds pretty gay. Yeah, exactly. I like it. If you're mainly doing this to follow your girlfriend around, and then the source of your powers will never be far away. I don't see you two breaking up, but... Even if you did, you could still use feelings of platonic love as a power source. It's like a symbiosis sort of thing. Oh, okay. Maybe that's not the best mental image. Eh, whatever. Door leads to the path of an amorous paladin strengthened by a 
faith in the power of love. I'm gonna check the others. Uh, well, I, uh, I appreciate nature. I like living out in the woods, after all. That's a little spiritual, right? Could you rephrase that so it uses the word? I have faith in nature? I mean, that ecosystem, it sure is going. I guess I can work with that. Most things in nature have arcane energy. You can just borrow some of that. Nice choice, Mel. I think it's a good fit. Story leads to the path of a woodland paladin strengthened by a faith in Mother Nature. Um, I be making things up as she goes, yeah. Would faith in my own abilities count? What? Well, I feel like I'm kind of a natural healer. It just feels right. If it can be any faith, then it could just be my faith in my ability to heal. You're telling me that you want to believe so hard that you have magic healing abilities that the belief itself gives you the arcane power needed to actually cast healing spells. Which would, in turn, prove that belief right like some kind of magical self-esteem Ouroboros. Is that what you're saying? Well, I, uh... I mean, resolute paladins are a thing, but it's not that simple, Mel. Mel did help me out last flu season. Probably would have been in bed another week without her. Not only because she uh, brought me medicine, I think just having her around helped. She has, like, a soothing presence. I mean, healing's healing, right? Just juice that up with some magic or whatever. Fine, if this is what you really want, then I guess I can make it work. Perfect, yeah. A resolute paladin strengthened by sheer force of will and a faith in one's own ability. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. I think the diamond door will give her the strongest power. Yeah. Oh, I'm just realizing... I am going to actually, like... Take a quick break and ruminate on this for a little, so I'll be back in just a couple minutes. See you then!
and I'm back. Oh, hello, Chia. He welcome in. Good to see you. Yeah, we are playing Super Lesbian RPG, and I just like had to go for a second. Like, just I said it was because like just trying to figure out like which of the uh, you know which of these options I want to pick, and it was kind of that. But also, I put my hand up to my you know face and realized I really needed to shave and just uh this for yeah. Doing better now, nice and smooth, but yeah, uh, time to pick whether I am a paladin based on nature, on love, or belief in my own strength. Now, I think off the bat, like, just, I like the concept of a nature paladin, but the concept of, but, like, just the beliefs in love and your own strength are just so much more interesting to me. Hmm. Like, just... Ah. Like, just... Like, this is super lesbian animal RPG. Gay is a... Like, the power of gay is a very strong way to go. But, oh man, the concept of, like, just... Your power coming from... Like, just a belief in your own strength is... Such a good trope. Yeah. Nature's animal love, lesbian self, super... <laughs> That's for RPG path, yeah. Uh, hey, Lemmy, you're super cute and adorable in chat. Um, for you, yeah, joke's on you that I can't hear see right now, so you can't get me back. Oh, Jasper. You really think that's gonna keep you safe? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Thank you very much, Jasper. I sent you a reply on Discord anyway. <laughs> but yeah, um... Ah. Oh man, this is like a tough one, cause like just... Oh, oh, they're just so good. I think... Just... With how I've been feeling recently... I am going to go the path of a resolute paladin strengthened by sheer force of will and a faith in one's own abilities. Let's go! <laughs> and with that, the choice was made. The power of gay belief in your own self, yep. Welcome to Super Lesbian Animal RPG, Act 1. What if I go through all the doors? <laughs> Several weeks later. Oh. Ooh. Wow, I actually almost looked the part. Not bad for a couple things I had in my closet and a few pieces of cheap gear off the internet. Oh man, buying equipment off eBay. Your name is Melody Amaranth. 100% match, it's literally you. Alright, 22. Be her by Green Ridge, but yeah. Yeah, likes quiet evenings, snow, nature, chocolate girls. Yeah, yeah. You're a timid fox who lives near the small town of Green Ridge on the scenic Sapphire Islands. How is this volume by the way? Oh, this is kind of loud. Let me just knock it down a bit. There. This music is great, but I do not want it to drown me out. Yeah, 100% match. It's, li it's literally you. Yeah. <sighs> responding to messages real quick. Beep. Yeah, then shove zero miles away. Yeah. <laughs> You had lived a quiet life with few ambitions since high school, mostly content to let yourself coast along on autopilot. But you always felt that something was missing. A few months ago, something finally clicked, and you came to two important realizations about yourself. One, you're deeply in love with your adventurous best friend, Allison Galetta. And you probably have been for a long time. As it turns out, the feeling was mutual. Oh, yay. And two, if Allison has your 
her heart set on becoming an adventurer? Then maybe you could join her. As a healer. Okay, enough holding up my, in my house. I've read all the material Claire gave me and run through my mana management exercises a thousand times. Dude, this is an RPG after all, yeah. I think it's finally time to head into town and show everyone what I've learned. Menu! Alright, what do we got in options? Alright. Default sprint, normally up. Alright. Determines whether or not the game is con- <laughs> Controls how much of the game is politics. <laughs> Ludo narrative dis <laughs> politics up. <laughs> yes, this game is hard. <laughs> yeah. All oh, the oh. <laughs> this is great. Oh, this is already great. <laughs> yeah. Got Melody. Oh, she's chubby too. Yes. Oh. Oh, that makes me unreasonably happy. Oh, man. <laughs> really high luck. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Quest. Yep. Head for Green Ridge. Yep. Okay. We've got. Ooh. Bestiary quests. Okay. Lore maps. Luda Nerf Dissonance is the conflict between the game's narrative told through the story and the narrative told through the gameplay. So good luck finding an actual plot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't know if those actually do anything, but I'm gonna turn them all the way up either way. What do we got on? All right, so nothing here, nothing here, nope, nothing yet. Okay, skills. What do we got? We got uh, got first aid, six MP. Okay, and. Ooh, a difficulty selector! Neat! Hell yeah! Yeah. I'm uh, getting multi at the Chubby Fox protagonist. Look, I like, you know, like, love when the game inserts meta items, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, just, I, it does make me really happy when the characters are more than just all stick thin. Because, like, just even in, like, queer stuff, it is shockingly rare for like it is shockingly rare for there to be like chubby characters especially like chubby trans femmes like just oh, that does genuinely make me so overwhelmingly happy it's been a while since i took a look at what on the shelf let's see. oh there's a few graphic novels i like including some that Alison and claire recommend they were complaining yeah i know i just like explaining it it like Talking is good for streams, you know? <laughs> Ooh, graphic novel. About any Yuri manga? There's some regular novels too, but mostly ones I read as a kid. Man, how come I don't read much anymore? Probably ADHD. Do I just not have the energy as an adult? Oh lord, and there's my, all my overpriced college textbooks. That's probably why, honestly, like, uh... I don't even want to think about my next semester of online classes, loans, and... Wow, this shelf is more depressing than I remembered. <laughs> Time to stop looking at it. And what about that poster? I'll send out a few of these autographed posters made last winter solstice. I gave them to everyone at our gift exchange and said they'd be valuable someday. Of course, it was only a gag gift, and then she gave everyone their real gifts. But I got her real good when I called her bluff and actually hung it up. <laughs> oh. Wow, that was a really obvious ploy for attention, huh? Can't believe it took me so long to figure out I had a huge crush on her. Oh. Melody, you fucking disaster. I can't inspect the plushie. Nothing there. Bought this painting of Green Ridge from Faith at her last art show. She really captured the town well. She definitely gives slight country accent vibes. Yeah, TBH, I might do that. Looks, looks like I left my laptop open on my blog overnight. Oh, yeah, I was looking through my photos and reminiscing, huh? Oh, pink trans fox. Oh, that's that's cute. Oh, look at the way I was looking at Allison here. Yeah, I know that's that's cute as shit. 
We weren't even dating yet. Guess this is why none of our friends were surprised when we announced we were dating a few months back. Oh, hey! I need that, yeah. Oh, they're great. This is from when Claire and Jody first started their adventuring guild. They were so excited. Well, I guess it's our adventuring guild now, huh? Claire says she doesn't really like this one, though. Standing close to the camera, and she says it makes her head look huge. Claire doesn't look that excited, yeah. I can sympathize with that, honestly. Uh, look, I've been using the study healing magic. Turns out it's a lot more complicated than I thought. I've only got the basic ones down at the moment, but I'll have to try some more advanced ones um, once I'm a bit more experienced. But yeah, um, do we, how much skill description do we get? Restores a decent amount of HP to one friend. Oh, so boost mill. Oh, it's just like star powers from spellcast. Okay. All right. Guess I'll find out what that is. Ah, my New Year's resolutions. June now, so let's see how many of these I've gotten done. Number one, read more. Well, reading that material on healing spells has to count, right? Number two, be more outgoing. I'd say I'm working on that. Number three, get ripped. No. Well, I guess some progress is better than none. Oh, cute photo. Me and Allison, we look so cute together in this one. Allison has the same photo hanging in her house. Already had breakfast. All right. I love, oh, I love how like the little like coil, like the coils on the oven look. Oh, that's so good. I have completed things on the resolution. It's nice having a fireplace in the winter. Makes it all warm and cozy in here. God, it smells really musty and dusty right now. When's the last time I cleaned it? Probably avoid breathing in too much of this fireplace air before I put myself in a coffin fit. Oh, fucking mood. Oh, I like how it steps back. Don't you see the photo yet? I wonder if there are any coins between the couch cushions. Um, a hundred gold? Okay. Wow! Nice. Alright, and that's a lot. Well, I don't know what, like, it could be on, like, yen or cent scale, so. These pink and yellow flowers symbolize me and Allison's relationship. Or something like that. I asked Miss Leon what some nice romantic flowers to plant would be, and she just gave me some that matched my fur and Allison's hair. That's gay. That's really gay. <laughs> that, I mean, I guess that works. It's adorable. I've really gotten a lot of use out, out of this punching bag Jody gave me. Every afternoon I've been doing some basic combat practice on it, and then if my hands get sore, I take a break to practice healing magic on myself. No substitute for the real thing, but hopefully the practice pays off. I will be going around and checking stuff, but yeah. I didn't even notice when washing them, but these jeans are way too small for me. Allison must have left them here at some point. They're still a little damp though, so she can get them some other time. Not ripped and practicing with punching bag narrative distance. <laughs> Luda narrative distance already kicking in. <laughs> I mean, that. Or, you know, that is just n narrative dissonance. Not Ludo narrative dis. Oh. Uh, where am I? Hi, there I am. There, okay. Wait, why do I have this much firewood? It's summer! Feels like there'd be something hidden back here, but nope. No mail today. And out we go. Okay, now to ha What's that? First marshmallows, yeah. Is that a monster? Weird, they usually keep away from this part of the coast. Well, I guess it's time to put my training to the test. Yeah, no, that's a hole in reality. Also a safe thing next to it. <gasps> friend! That's a friend! Um, that's a friend! That's a friend! I don't want to hurt it! Who said monsters can't be friends? <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, we're doing a lot more damage now. Carb, please leave. Hi, Fran. Good to see you. Looks like you can just toast. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I don't want to beat you up. Oh, dodge. Uh, I'm gonna quickly just check first aid. Oh. All right. Boom. Oh, Humble Hermit's been defeated. I'm sorry. That wasn't so bad. Modest heal heals 91. Humble Hermit activates Anger Shell. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, hey, treasure. Eight gold. Not bad. Hey, that wasn't so bad. I'd be able to make it to Greenridge, no problem. If I get a little banged up, I can just use first aid. Yep, open the menu and select skills. Yeah. Save station. And use it to save. That's RPG Maker for you. We have a lot of save slots. <clears throat> yep, 30 save files. And yeah, I can just heal up. Thing down here. Whoa! Hermit crab jump scare. Caution moving holes in reality. <laughs> I'm just glad that's over. I'll be sure to put this to good use. May contain crabs. <laughs> It's time for crab. And another up here. I like the sign that just says East and West. Yep, East Green Ridge, West Plum, Melody's house. Okay. Can't go up there, all right. Blah. Enemy anemone! Oh. Why are all the enemies in this just adorable? This... I don't want to fight them! Rude. Oh! Alright, they're one shot. Babies, yeah. Alright, then I'm gonna take you out. Now I'm gonna heal up. I have no qualms about fighting you, yeah. <laughs> Kills first aid. These, these ones are babies, yeah. Okay. And Yay. That wasn't bad. Ooh, potions and ethers, okay. Neat. Those I'm guessing are just your usual like yep. 250 HP lemon lime flavored. And cherry flavored MP. Neat. I like how it says what they're just sodas. That's great. I I adore that. This this game is great. This game is adorable and delightful. That's a treasure chest. And also an ominous door. Ah! Very much I very, very much am unsettled that health is green and MP is red. Yeah. That is a bit weird, but. Um, oh, dodge. Nice. All right. Crabs look like little witches. They kind of do, yeah. I love, like, just like the witch hat style. That It's adorable. Aww. Rude. There. Level up. All right. Ooh, good amount more HP, MP up. Nice, nice. Or luck. This should make things a little easier. Thirty gold. Wow, oh, I feel like I'm already getting better at this. Allison's gonna be so impressed. 
Oh, and I get fully healed HP-wise. Okay. Melody levels up. Melody is aware she's leveled up. Yep. Ah! I'm fine. All right. Oh, I'm faster than him now. Yay. I love, like, the little, like, star pattern it uses for the attacks. That is adorable. Also, this background is just so pretty. I love the limited color palette. The potion of ether is nice. Did that stack? Yes, good. Thank God. A three ether, what's up? Hello, MaxLay12. Welcome, welcome. I am playing Super Lesbian Animal RPG. Oh, that's a super. They're an inventory capacity? I don't know yet. I haven't actually really played many RPG Maker games. Ah! Different for all of them, yeah, I imagine, yeah. Um, I'm gonna do some first aid. I'm one of the folks who likes to keep their health, like, above half in RPGs and such. Just when at all possible. There. Wasn't so bad. Yay! Oh, I didn't remember to check that door. Different for all of them, I imagine. Yeah, we'll see. I've always wondered what's behind the store near my house, but I guess that's none of my business. Oh, it's her business, yeah. All right. Should have taken out the enemies first. Oh, well. Limited color palette of this game. Oh no. Fran, <laughs> thank you for the hundred bits. <laughs> and uh the meme. God. I love the I wonder if I mute like the Streamlabs app, it'll like make that not duplicate. Ah Rude. Oh, we're gonna have to heal again. Yeah, ah. Uh. There you go! I am almost to level 3, though. Hi! Oh, they're having a picnic! I better not disturb them. Didn't really need to go over there anyway. I think that is one of the cutest, like, roadblocks I've seen yet in a game. Just like, they're just having Oh. Healed. Oh well. I'm about to level up anyway. There you go. And there you go. Very cute, and your action's also very cute. Ooh, new skill! Oh my god, friend, the panic basket. <laughs> Resolute seal. Hmm. What the fuck is that? Oh, star power, okay. Places a magical seal on an enemy. Oh, it's a DOT! Every turn for four turns uses star power. That's cool. And we got an item. 80 gold. Not bad. Damage over time, but ooh ooh -ified. <laughs> Welcome to Green Ridge. The Wishing Well. You come back here with Allison. But also, save. I haven't done anything that would need, like, 
branch and saves me. Let's go then in the couch. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, the one in the couch was an Easter egg. That was a reward. Probably mind my own business and stare at a stranger. This is one. Yeah. Oh, huh. Yeah. Wait, is kisses a? Oh my God, kisses is a is a stat. That's great. Danger. <laughs> um, pawn it. Pawn it. Uh. uh <laughs> I'm. I don't think that. I don't think that's how that works. Don't forgot to put collision on that. <laughs> she poses on your tent to show dominance. Yeah. Uh. Uh, I don't, I, please do not stand on tents, uh, that is not good for, like, either your safety or the tent's integrity, if, go ahead if you want to break it, but please don't, yeah, very diff, it's also really hard to stand on a tent, don't try it. Ooh, a dock! Ah, uh, the dock. One of my favorite spots in town. After a long day, it's just nice to sit here and listen to the ocean. Oh, that's gay. Vaguely remember that being mentioned in a devlog. Ah. Uh. Well, hello there, miss. The name's Raphael, traveling merchant extraordinaire. You wouldn't happen to know any adventurer types in need of gear, would you? I was hoping to do a little business after dropping off a delivery for the Paladin Brigade, but there doesn't seem to be much demand today. By Jeff for gear too? What? Oh, um, I'm I'm the Paladin here, but yeah. Oh, I'm an adventure type and need a gear. Really? Well, I'm still new, I suppose. I'm a paladin in training. But I could use some equipment. Why, my apologies. I sh should have known at a glance. You have the aura of a paladin. I actually don't know any aura spells yet, but thank you. In any case, perhaps some of my goods may aid in your paladin duties. Very confused. Oh, I can actually buy all of these. Ooh, alright, so that's a revive. Okay, so. Oh, leather gauntlet. Yep. Generic brand pauldrons. <laughs> I like these. The gauntlet to enhance your punches. Not particularly gr glamorous, but it's good for beginner adventures. Leather gauntlet, but who's leather? Uh, bow leather. It's not real. Simply yet effective piece of armor for adve beginner adventures. Got potions. I've got a couple of those, and. You know what? Just in case, I'm gonna buy it to your revival. If you need anything else, miss, I'll be in town the rest of the day. Alright. Oh no, it's plastic. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pleather sucks, but what we got? There. Okay. Oh, hey, Melody. Got a minute? <clears throat> ah. Hello. Hello, Liam. Good to see ya. Hi, Jody. Hey, we've missed having you around town lately. What have you been up to? Everything okay? Great for an answer. I've been studying those books on healing magic that Claire gave me, actually. I really wanted to power through those and get the basics down. Awesome! How's that going for you? I've still got a lot to learn, but I've already got a couple simple ones figured out. Pretty happy with my progress so far. Nice. I'm still not quite sure I understand that magic thing Claire did with you and Allison the other week, but it sounds like it paid off. Sure, I'll ask about it. 
was a little surprised you weren't there for the Fortuna magic ritual, actually. I guess it would have been more formal to have the whole guild there, but I doubt I would have been much help. You know I'm no magic expert. I leave that stuff to Claire. But hey, if you're picking up healing magic that quickly, maybe we'll be able to go on an expedition soon. Oh, I don't know if I'm quite ready for that yet. Oh, it's not that scary, trust me. Claire hypes it up, but most of the places she wants to check out are harmless. Just some local wizard ruins where she thinks we might be able to find an artifact or two. Won't be like what happened last time, I promise. Still, I don't know. Maybe sometime soon. But I'd like to practice a little more first. It's cool, this is all new for you. Go whatever pace you're comfortable with. Anyway, I assume you're looking for Allison, right? Am I really that predictable? <laughs> Am I really that predictable? Melody, you made six different posts on two different websites just saying, I love my girlfriend in the last week. Mood. It was definitely more than six. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm sure she's dying to see you too. She hasn't texted you about it or anything. I think she's got some big news for you. Please tell me she didn't. Oh no, it's not another tramp. I, I want to hear the back. I want to know the backstory on that one. Fortunately, don't have the artifact from the prequel comic for the game. Oh, I need to read that at some point. How many trampolines? I, I want to know the back statement, backstory on that remark. Oh, thank God. Guess I probably shouldn't ruin the surprise then. Allison can tell you herself. You've got me curious now. Well, I better get going then. Have a nice day, Jody. You too. I haven't seen a single trampoline yet though. Probably because they're all broken. House girl. Hi, welcome to the... Uh, oh, hey Melody. Hi Mona, is Claire in right now? No, your friend's not here. Hey, uh, if you see her, could you tell her to get her crap out of the meeting room upstairs? I know you guys are on the schedule, but that doesn't mean she can use it as her personal office the rest of the week. You were talking about sticking characters, yeah. I'd pack up her crap myself, but she put some sort of hex or something on the door to keep me out. I'll have a word with her if I see her. Oh, they have the new volume of my favorite comic series. I didn't realize... The trade was out already. I wonder which type of Yuri manga that, um, you know, that Melody would read. Any the history section. They have several copies of that book about the history of town. Green Ridge has been added to the lore section of the quest log. Ooh. It's the magic section, but where are all the books? Oh, well, maybe I'll take a look at some of these some other time. I don't want to keep Allison waiting for too long. This is where we have our guild meetings, but I don't think anyone's there right now. In this one? Got no business in there. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, let's check that lore, actually. We got lore. Green Ridge. This humble town is the largest settlement on the Sapphire Islands, with a population of a couple thousand people. Primarily beast folk, due to its proximity to the Beast Kingdom mainland. The town as we know it today was founded centuries ago by a coven of witches who believed Fortuna, the goddess of magic, had personally blessed the islands. There were humans? Apparently. I'm gonna try to go back there, hon. Yeah. This someone's house? Ah, uh, that's- Oh, that's Claire and Jody's house, okay. And this someone else's, okay. Jody's grill, her pride and joy. Of course she grills. And off to the side here? Nope. Okay, well, only one way to go. Oh my god, the shop. I think someone's at the door. Hold on, I'll get it. 
Uh, hi, we're not ready yet. Come back tomorrow for the grand opening, okay? All right. Oh, different colored house. Very be that, yeah. Derps McGurps, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to Uplink City. That's Allison and me. Allison has a small house, yeah. Uh, not much, not much bigger than my apartment to you. Cool magnets. One of those days, one of these days we're going to redecorate in here and we'll finally be able to move this couch so it's not one foot away from the TV. I wonder if this axe would be useful. I'll just leave it here, though. It's a little pointy for me. Your apartment is three rooms, yeah. Is there anyone? Sure. It's gotta be Allison's favorite song or something. He plays it all the time. Well, it would appear Allison's not hiding in her wardrobe to pop out and surprise me. Not this time. I think this is a poster from a show Allison went to in high school. Ah, uh, the music in this is great. I don't know if I should be snooping around in Allison's basement without her. Hello. So, you whippersnappers fancy yourselves adventurers now, eh? How old are you? 17? 18? I'm 22. Uh, sir? 22 years old. Kids these days. No gumption. Why, back when I was your age, I'd already tried to conquer the world twice. If you kids didn't spend all day doing this planking nonsense or whatever it is you do, you'd have a lot more time to be productive. I had... What did he say about his age? Yeah, 22 days. Well, no, um... Yeah, no, Melody's 22. Yeah, uh... I had not thought about the existence of planking in a long time. You could learn a thing or two from my granddaughter, Pepper. It's very ambitious. Just full of machinations, that one. You forgot what planking was. Um, well, it's been nice talking with you, Mr. Leon. No, it hasn't. Planking the exercise? Yeah, no, it was a, like, it was a huge fad back in, like, 2012 or so. I think I've ever been in this fortune-telling shop. I feel like I should probably find Allison first. I enjoy getting your fortune told. Leon is clearly grumpy, can't you? When I grow up, I want to be just like my grandpa. A powerful sorcerer? No, evil! <laughs> anyway, the store's not really open today, so you should come back tomorrow and buy some spellbooks from my mom. Maybe all of them! Hey, you and your friends are adventurers. Care to buy some spell books? Dad had a million of these old things collecting dust around. We figured it'd be better to sell them to folks who would actually use them. If these were Mr. Leon's, then aren't they a little dangerous? Oh, no, no. It's fine. He got a... He got rid of all the real scary ones years ago when he gave up villainy. Casually sells evil spellbooks. <laughs> At least that's what he tells me. Mom, if aren't, they aren't dangerous, why don't you let me touch any of the spellbooks? I'm sorry, honey. These are for grown-ups only. If something's dangerous, it's probably ten times as dangerous in the hands of an eight-year-old. Or a hundred times as dangerous with me, right, Mom? That's right, sweetie. But my dad's just a hoarder. When he was an adventurer, he'd just grab any old book he found, whether it was useful to him or not. Pepper, you're not helping your case. <laughs> We've got plenty of spell books, yeah, that would be useful for adventurous times like you without being too dangerous. Oh, Pepper, Pepper's cat batshit eyes, yeah. But you're gonna have to 
come back tomorrow if you'd like to peruse our ware and officially open all right your own magic has been added to the quest log okay um as in come back here tomorrow yep <clears throat> how come no place in this town is open because it's the intro boss return and the gift of magic this statue has got to be the most valuable thing on the archipelago and also the fanciest Doesn't look like there are many job or any jobs on the notice board today. Guess we'll have to check again tomorrow. Melody, hi! How's my favorite paladin doing today? The most valid was you all. <laughs> Beauty. Oh, I've only been a paladin for a few weeks and I'm already your favorite? Well, you're in my top four for sure. I don't know what a paladin really does, but I know you're giving it your all. Uh thanks. So, how have been things go how have things been going at Pickledy's? Business hasn't exactly been booming, but hey, still living the dream. Oh, we got a good review from a food critic recently. I think they said we have ambiance. Did you know we had that? I don't even remember putting that on the menu. My god. Oh my god. <laughs> Adorable. Oh, that's great. Why are you just standing outside the restaurant on your day off, though? Oh, I was just waiting for Claire to stop by and grab her paycheck. I like giving it to her in person. If I don't see her in ten minutes, I guess I'll just leave it in her and jo Jody's mailbox. I can remind her to drop by if I see her. That'd be great. Well, I'm sure you're busy with your adventure business or whatever. I won't keep you. See you, Beverly. It was nice talking. I'm not going to remember all these character voices. Beverly's homemade chocolate cake, 195 gold. Big carrot single, 95 gold. And deluxe hot fudge sundae, 295 gold. Love to get a bite to eat, but Pickledee's is closed on Mondays. Ah. Ooh, a construction site. You see a monster or a litter bug, please call the local Palatin Brigade at 555 201 6727. Balls have been thoroughly smashed. Almost definitely Allison's doing. I guess I know which way Allison is. I think that I'm gonna go look around the rest of the town first. Hi, Faith. It's nice to see you out of your office for a change. Oh, hello, Melody. Yes, it's been a quiet week. Plenty of time for me to paint. Of course, with Greenwood being quiet for this long, it's probably only a matter of time until someone causes a fuss. Probably, Claire. Oh, oh, oh. It's usually Claire. Oh, speaking of Claire, how's your training going? Going pretty well. I've just been studying on my own, but I already have a couple healing spells down. Well, that's quite impressive for someone who's never studied magic before, you know. How did you manage to pick it up so quickly? Claire didn't try any shortcuts with you, did she? Oh, uh... Guess I'm just... a uh, natural? Hmm... Well, I suppose it's not completely unheard of. I've always thought you'd make a natural healer, personally. What that's worth. Would it be safe to assume you're heading over to Allison to show her some spells? You know, Jody assumed the same thing. What a coincidence. Dear, you're always thinking about Allison. <coughs> oh, sorry, did you say something? I was thinking about Allison. <laughs> I was saying... Melody? Melody, snap out of it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna run with it. I'm gonna run with it. Da da da. <laughs> I love the like just the bouncing dot dot dot. That's that's great. That's really good. Melody, where are you going? Just don't just walk away from. <laughs> uh. Anything interesting happening? Anything interesting happen around town lately? Let's. Oh, there's a magic shop opening up soon. It's in that little pink building on Main Street. The Leone family's running it. 
I don't think they'll be formally open until tomorrow, but you could drop by and say hello. I just remembered. Polly's wanted to see you ever since she heard you became a paladin. You should be in the paladin headquarters. Head inside the tower and take a left. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Well, thanks for the suggestions, Faith. Anytime, dear. Need anything else? How are you and Jody doing? We're doing well. Over the weekend, I actually had enough free time to take a little trip down to the beach with her. Aww. Aww, gay. Nice! How was it? Oh, it was lovely. I went down to this little cave I like on the west side of the island. Totally private. Very romantic. At one point, Jody actually waded into the water and caught a fish with her bare hand. I think she was trying to impress me. Yeah, probably. Did it work? I should clarify that this fish probably weighed 20 pounds, so... Yes, it was pretty impressive. Not long after that, it started raining, but... I cast a wide area force field over the beach before we got soaked. Isn't that the spell you're supposed to use to shield the town in event of emergency? Yes, well, no one ever said I couldn't use it for day-to-day -day purposes. It was a wonderful time, though. I say I should have invited you and Allison and made a double date, but you've never been the biggest beach girl. Oh, mood. Oh, I haven't been to a beach like a beach proper in ages. Gotta love that dysphoria. They should make, like, bikinis for trans girls that, like, show off their bulges in a cute way. Like, just, we need, like, like, we need, like, cute, like, bulge bikinis and such. Like, that'd be adorable and great and really good and would make me like my body a lot more honestly but yeah just it'd be good we need them we need more stuff for girl bulge just in general i mean the beach is nice just always get a lot of sand in my tail uh there's that too well maybe we can plan a different double date somewhere a bit less sandy i should have another day off in oh seven months give or take six if i'm lucky I'll be sure to work it into my schedule. Need anything else? Have you seen Allison? Have you seen Allison lately? I believe I saw her head off to the construction site on the west end of Main Street earlier. Probably clearing trees for the project. I'd presume. I mean, that is her job, after all. And hide bulge is always swim skirts, which came back into fra- Yeah, oh, I should look into swim skirts, TBH. I'm sure she'd be happy to see you, though. I'll have to drop by the site and see if she's there. Need anything else? Not right now. Alright. Into the very fancy paladin headquarters. Ah, the Guardian's Tower. Hi. Melody, you're a paladin now, so... I feel that I can entrust you with sensitive information regarding Paladin Brigade operations. More stuff for Girl Bulge? My mouth is right here. Oh, Jasper! <laughs> I mean, if you'd like, I'd be happy to. <laughs> can you keep a secret? Yeah, I'm not, like, streaming to an audience or anything. I can keep a secret. Uh, sure. I accidentally wedged my sword in this crack in the floor and I can't get it out. Oh no! <laughs> so now I'm just trying to act casual and stand here with it until everyone leaves. It's very stressful. I could try and help you get it out? No. That would only cause a scene. Just think, how would the people of Greenridge react if they knew the new captain of the Paladin Brigade, their sworn protectors, was this incompetent? You remind me a lot of me from Bofri, which, great character, by the way, just accidentally trapped herself into role-playing, like, just a super, like, charismatic and determined character, but actually just wants to 
just be soft. Great character archetype. Anyway, my head hurts, so I think I'm gonna go lay down. Oh. Rest well, Jasper. I hope you feel better soon. It would be all over the tabloids. We have tabloids? I wouldn't know. I don't read such things. Everyone makes mistakes, Province. This is the first state mistake I have ever made in my life. Also, I'm not actually joining the Paladin Brigade, by the way. I'm with Claire's Guild, not you guys. Wait, really? That's... Uh... You know what? Forget everything you just heard. Okay. Oh, these ones are cool. I let them do most of the talking. So, I don't believe we've met. The name's Bethaniel, but everyone just calls me Beth the Beast. And they're Mariana. Hey. Um, hello. Are you from around here? We've traveled a long way in our righteous quest to see the local guardian. Almost ten blocks, probably. We're here to ask her what she's doing to spread the love in Greenridge. Also, to see if she'd like to he hear our chill anime beats mixtape. Burden. Marinara. <laughs> oh. Oh, Faith's right outside, you know. We didn't want to disturb her. Shouldn't you kids be in summer school or something? Actually, we're both on the honor roll. That's right, folks. The man can't put us in summer school. What do you mean by spreading the love? Anyway, what do you exactly mean by spreading the love? Like being friendly and sending good vibes? Good vibes are of utmost importance. Especially for a guardian. She like sets the vibe for our whole town. But you're thinking small. We also want to know if she's using her power to enact policies that'll impact the town and its people in a positive way. Oh, Faith doesn't really get to decide laws or anything. She's not the mayor. Her job is to fix magic-related problems around town and to help folks hurt by such things. You know, monsters, ma magic relics on haywire, evil wizards, that stuff. Hmm. Well... I would say protecting us from evil wizards is a pretty good way to spread the love. I still want to talk to her, though, so we'll just wait for her in here. Paladin Brigade and Guardian have been added to the lore tab. Okay, Okay. well, it was nice meeting you. <clears throat> I'm gonna have a cough drop, because uh, I've been having a bit of a rough time, and my throat has been getting scratchy from it, so... You have appointments with the Guardian. I'm afraid Miss Vincent isn't in right now. Oh, I know. I saw Faith, Faith painting outside on my way in here. So, do you need something else? I'm a little busy, Melody. Not really. Uh, I guess I just wanted to ask how things are going. I mean, I feel like we haven't really talked much since high school. Well, I started working out and got a job as the receptionist here at the tower. And, uh, that's about it. Uh, cool. Sorry, I'm just a little preoccupied. Everyone's got problems they want Miss Vincent and the Paladins to fix, and I'm the one who has to filter those requests. Gotten three separate calls today from folks claiming a wizard has broken into their homes and erased their memories of their email passwords in their sleep. Did that really happen? No. But now I have to file a thorough report for every one of these calls. So, I should get back to that. Best of luck. Hi! Hello! How about you try talking to my face? <laughs> this game is good. How about you try talking to my face instead of my armpit? Hey, Melody. Faith told me you're a resolute paladin now. Pretty cool. You know, I'm one of those too. What a coincidence. So, how's it feel to be the coolest type of paladin? Pretty great, right? It's a, yeah, it's pretty cool. You don't sound very pumped. Come on, where's your enthusiasm? Well, that's a problem, I guess. Like, the power is based off your belief in your own abilities, right? I was feeling pretty confident when I made up my mind, and... 
but now I'm starting to doubt myself, and doubting myself could weaken my healing. Kinda seems like it'll become a vicious cycle. Holly, how do you have the confidence to maintain your powers all the time? Easy! I just think about how big and tough I am! Holly's great, lover. You can take on a lot of stuff when you're big and tough. Plus, nothing's more reassuring to my team than knowing their healer can suplex a car. <laughs> I think attempting that would actually kill me. I'm not big and tough. I'm big and soft. Fuck yeah! Being big and soft is the fucking best. Look at me. Look at this fucking tummy. I, I'm great, and I am the best. And squishy, yeah! Look at me. Look at all these amazing tummy jiggle physics. Thank you, Kieran. Very easily bruised. Yeah, that's the issue. Okay, cars can be pretty heavy. Maybe start small. Ever try suplexing a clown car? Do you have any suggestions that are less physical? Um, that's just me. Riddle, all the Resolute Paladins say they're all about faith. Like, they just know if things gonna work out the way it's supposed to, and they'll always be able to rely on their powers if that's what fate has in store. Okay, I'm in bed now. Clothes may not be bent, but yeah, it may not be in bed, but that's awesome. Let's not talk about it. Oh, Jasper. What a cutie. I don't really buy that personally, but hey, magic and self esteem are pretty broad, you know? It's gotta figure out what works for you. Plus, I mean, you don't have to rely on the suplex. There's also power bombs, choke slams, flying elbow drops. Thanks, Holly. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, and one more thing. It's not much, but I figured you put it to good use. Got a secondhand staff. Oh, it's. it's. uh. Little Ben. Yeah, Staves and I don't really get along. I wax stuff a little too hard with them. If I try to suplex a clown car, but <laughs> no, but I've suplexed a ghost train. <laughs> Still works, though. It'll give your spell casting a little more oomph compared to casting empty handed. I mean, why did you actually equip it, you know? Well, thanks, Holly. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Knock him dead, kid. Or, uh, knock him alive, because you're a healer. Sure to quit melody. Um, oh, that's, okay. Not hard to imagine how it got bent. Oh, that's like one attack down, but, uh, ten magic up? Oh, yeah, definitely worth it. What about you? Nice sword fight. Is that a new one? Actually, it's an old one. I found it buried in my attic the other day. The old guardian always made us use regulation armor and gear and stuff, so I never got to use this one back in the day. This bad boy was just collecting dust until I realized that Faith would totally let me use it. I've still got a lot of policy left to do, though. Isn't it just gonna get dirty when you use it? Yeah, but if my sword's real big and shiny, then I might scare off those evildoers without actually having to exert much effort. That's actually happened to me a few times before, believe it or not. I mean, I don't want to get hit with that thing, so I guess it makes sense. I'll let you get back to that, then. See you around. Alright. And over here. I am with... Ooh, test dummy. A training dummy, huh? Bet Allison would love to practice some of her moves on this thing. Star power, let me look. In addition to HP and MP, you have access to a special resource known as Star Power. Yep, represented by Starship Gauge. Some you gain for doing your class's job well in combat. For offensive classes, um, Star Power is gained by performing standard attacks and simple magic in case of witches. Healers, you're gained by performing standard healing spells. Thanks. Star Power is gained by tanking hits. When you build star power, you can spend it on special star power based abilities. Yep. Highly powerful attacks are useful utility spells. Star power resets at the end of every fight. Don't let it go to waste. Be sure to use it when you have it. Knowing when to build up and when to spend your star power is crucial when fighting monsters. Yep. Anything I should know about Fleen? Alright. Some foes may not allow you. Yep. Alright, that's it. Alright. Oh. 
Where's the... Okay, so it doesn't do that full cutscene every time. That's good. Alright, yeah, uh... I think that's everything in town, so... Off after Allison! Ooh, I can trail. Hi! Meow Shroom! Oh my god! Dodge, nice. Oh, not much. Yeah, and I do have armor now, so. Large cat head, yeah. Oh no, I've got a mushroom icon. Um, can I check status or something? Doesn't look it. All right. Two potions, yay. Alright, so it looks like status effects don't persist, okay. Ooh! Is this some kind of treasure map? Let me take a closer look. Hmm. One, two, three. Alright, so north, east, southwest, southeast. Okay. Not super clear, but I guess I'll keep an eye out for this treasure. Treasure map one, okay. Quest log. Just stopping by to wish you a good stream, my mom. Good night, yeah. Good night, Azu. Good to have you here. I should also check lore because I have all in one emergency task response team tasked with handling any magical problems Green Ridge faces. While the paladins are highly skilled fighters, on an average day they use healing and defensive magic and de escalation techniques more often than they use their swords. <clears throat> paladins are strictly forbidden for from using lethal force on sentient beings. And the town guardian, Democrat the democratically elected leader of the Paladin Brigade, tasked with protecting Greenridge from magical threats. Guardian is not the leader of Greenridge, but merely the head of one department working under the mayor. Currently, the guardian is Jody's girlfriend, Faith Vincent. At age 24, she's the second youngest guardian in town history, beaten only by um, the time the town's youth voted for a toddler as a prank. <laughs> Oh. Ooh. Flowers seem interesting. They grow like this naturally? Hmm. Can't go across there yet. Okay. That feels like the way onward. Yeah, that is what the kids call a required enemy. Yep. Nothing doing, but... Snake appears. Hi. Ow. Yep, nope, wrong key. And one more. Oh. Yay. Oh, that's nice healing. Okay. I can trail midpoint. Ooh. I want to go hiking again sometime. Something like Tamer, because I am disabled, but it's, it's nice. Owie. All right. There you go. No, it's not so bad. All right, so one, two, three, four. Ooh. 
the World Revival tier. Neat! You have an ether. Yay! Oh, seems nice. Very cozy. Like a secret path. Aha! Hi! Ah, spore. Ah, spore. Mushroom spores def speed down. Okay. Owie. Owie. Okay. Now I'm going. Oh, there. A little bit. Lemma time. Hello, wannabe cat. Good to see ya. Rude. Oh, meow shroom. Yeah. The enemies in this game are great so far. Oh. I love how echo lollable the sound effects are. Ah, this goes here. 200 gold, wow! Alright, can't do anything with that yet, yeah. It was RTBH, yeah. Alright, good, that one didn't respawn, so I can just go through here. And onward. Yeah, I think my policy for now is just I'm gonna go through every enemy spawn location. I'm gonna take on every enemy spawn at least once. Or, yeah, like just. I'm not gonna grind for now. I'm just gonna, like, make sure I defeat every enemy, like, that spawns in a room at least once on, like, my first time through or such. Don't oh, give me more mushrooms! I'm getting a lot of items, so I should use them. Yeah, I have... I have like eight ethers, yeah. There. Not even worried about it. Oh. Nothing notable on these sides. I am guessing we've got a moderately sized fight up ahead. Oh! Got an Allison! Hi! Oh, this is a nice view. Allison? What? Mel? What are you doing all the way out here? Just felt like taking a hike? Wait, what's that? Did you get hurt? Oh, this? It's just a scratch. Funny story, actually. See, I was just minding my own business on break at work, smashing some bottles I'd lying around for fun. You know, same old, same old. Notice that one of the bottles I smashed had a treasure map hidden inside. Awesome, right? Figure my mom must have buried some treasure out here and hid the map in a bottle at the house. Anyway, long story short, I got jumped by a monster and chased it here to give it a piece of my mind. But it kind of got away. Here, let me see where you're hurt. I want to try something. Huh? Oh, sure. Melody, focus. Remember what you studied. Positive thoughts. Square breathing. Channel your mana into your... Ooh. Ooh! Holofoil! 
look, I love like holofoil effects for like magic or psychic powers. Shout out to Mob Psycho 100. Ba -da -ba -ba, melody cast for Sade. Oh my god, it worked! Oh, Mel, that's incredible! You can really pull off healing spells like that already? No, it's just an entry level first aid spell. So, know the creator of this really likes Earthbound and I like Earthbound, yeah. It took me like two weeks just to get that one down, even with Claire's magic boost, and I can't exactly do much more than that. Do you really feel better? Yeah, I feel great! And <laughs> give yourself some credit! Possibly no experience in Earthbound. How Earthboundy is it? Um. Telling him I'm psycho. Uh. So far? Um. It's not. Like. I was watching the finale earlier, yeah. Uh. I think. Like, so far, it's not been super Earthboundy. Um. Yeah. It does say, like, on the. Like, Steam page, no grinding, no random encounters. Uh -uh. Yeah, um... I wouldn't... S like... Here's the thing. What makes something Earthboundy is being just weird. Being really, really, really fucking weird. Just... Just... You will, like... You will just keep going, what the fuck is this game, at something that's Earthboundy. And it's not quite there, but that doesn't mean it's bad. It doesn't have, like... Like, Earthbound is very much inspired by, like... Like, Earthbound is very psychedelic. This is not. But it is also, like... It's gonna be a bit, like, off-tempo, but... Or it'll be, like, like, just, I don't expect this to be, like, just completely wacko. I expect it to be good. Just, like, I don't think Earthbound, like, I don't think Earthboundy is a good description for anything that wasn't made just to be completely fucking wacko. Yeah, I don't know if this was heavily influenced by Earthbound, yeah, um... They do cite, like, the Mother series as an inspiration, which, you know, also includes, like, Mother 3, which is a lot less wacko. But yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Going from knowing zero magic to being able to do that is pretty amazing. Whoa! Oh, dear. Hey, Mela, I know this is a lot to ask, but... You think you could lend me a hand here? Okay, boss time. Bull Hound! Hi! I don't know if, if you play the old pony version, you should have an idea what it's like. Uh oh. Alright. Fight time! What do you got for skills? Oh my god! <gasps> oh, that's adorable. That is adorable. Give Melody a little peck on the cheek to boost morale and raise all her stats by 15% for five turns. Yeah. Allison attempts to kiss Melody. <laughs> Melody. Oh my god. Infatuated is a good... St <gasps> That's the cutest. That is the actual cutest. And now I can use that for attacks. <gasps> now I can use that for... <laughs> Star power. I think the top might be like the weak point. Oh, right. Ow, not much, but. Try right jab, see if that's. 
I feel like one of these is gonna be- Oh, there it is! Yeah! Punch it in the eye! <laughs> It went in the hole! Alright, that means... Oh! You can both do it, okay. I'm gonna give you some first aid, and... There. Have some attempts to smellity. Mwah! I love how infatuation is a positive skill in this. That's great. Wag! Rude. I'm gonna do another first aid just for the sake of it, so I can like maybe do the DOT, but yeah. Punch it in the eye! There you go! Woo! A new level up, nice! All right. Now that is adorable. I think we scared it off. Isn't it a little weird to see a monster this close to town? It happens. It's just a whole hound. I find things like that poking up around in my garbage at least once a year. So uh, anyway, hey, I haven't seen you in forever. I'm liking that new look. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Kenny. Welcome, welcome. Good to see ya. Dear God, what have we done? Yeah. I li really like that new look. It's adorable. How's my art going for cool? Going for more of a cool paladin look? Or at least cl as close to a cool paladin as I can pull off on my budget. No, no, you do look cool. Other people's first impression will definitely be cool healer. I just always think you look cute. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's, that's gay. So, since you're here and I'm no longer busy, why don't we, like, do something together? I miss having you around, you know. Let's go do something fun. Well, like, couple stuff? Like a date? Yeah, totally. Normal couple stuff. No magic, no guild, no monsters. Just a chill afternoon together. You know what? You're right. I think a relaxing day off would be good for me. For at least half a day off. That's the spirit. Did you have something in mind for us to do? <laughs> God, you love how adorable they are. Yeah. Uh, Kiss would be. <laughs> Heck yeah! <sighs> this might be the best game ever. This might just be the absolute best game ever. <laughs> oh, that was, that was phenomenal. That was absolutely phenomenal. So what now? I don't know. We'll figure something out. Game of the year 2022. Yeah. Uh, up there with Scarlet and Violet. Let's just look around town and find something fun to do. RPG, yeah. SLRPG, the game ever. Yeah. <laughs> Your girlfriend, Allison, has joined you! Yay! I wonder, what's my kiss stat at now? Still at one? Oh, no, now it's at five. Okay, yeah. Alright, so each in-battle kiss counts. <laughs> I love that... I love that that's a stat that's great. Allison's a bit lower level, okay. Let's see. Oh, that's good for you, okay. Oh, so cute. They are adorable. Wonder if I can do like the now. Nope. 
Oh, uh, well. It might be like just a nature paladin thing or something. I don't know. I will find out later, probably. Oh, hey! Oh, boy. Look who's here. Did we avoid Paula? I know you two don't exactly get along. Nah, you can say if you want. It's not like she won't notice us. Let's just try to make it quick. I'll make it quick. Oh, good. It's you. Here I was, worrying that I'd get a solid half hour of peace and quiet in before my shift without anyone bothering me. Yeah, nice to see you too, Paula. So, Galetta, are the rumors true? One's about you already giving up on this adventuring nonsense. Nope, it's going better than ever, actually. As a matter of fact, we just fended off a wild whole hound. Wow, well, maybe next time you'll fight a real monster. Started that rumor about me calling it quits anyway. Oh, that was... You piece of shit. Oh, you fucker. Bastard. Oh, you're trash. And why did you... You know what? Never mind. Just try not to miss me too much while I'm out becoming a famous hero. Yeah, I'll always cherish my many memories of you being late for your shifts and texting on the job while I did all the actual work. Certainly one way of remembering it. But hey, I'll be sure to send you a card when you're hospitalized for getting stomped on by a dragon. Or whatever it is you run off to do. How thoughtful. Look, I'm just trying to be realistic. Slacker like you. Give it a week before you realize how tough it is out there. Second pick is very different vibes, but still gay, yeah. Well, I'll stay half on your crew. Amaranth here, poor girl's gonna have a heart attack first time you run into something big. Higsby, can't believe you trust her. Typical magic user. Massive ego, huge magnet for trouble. You'll probably stab him in the back. Caldwell's cool, but I don't know how the hell you convinced her to look after a bunch of newbies. Y'all can pretend all you want, you can take shortcuts, but... What you're trying to do takes real talent. And you can only pretend to have talent for some. You know what, Paula? Fuck you. Have fun. Piece of shit. Wow, look at the time. Well, it's been fun, Paula, but Melody and I have a prior engagement, so... Can I steal your axe? You so much as breathe on my axe, I'm tracking you into the lake. I am going to kick your ass, Paula. Ah... Yeah, sorry, Kenny. My throat's feeling just a bit scratchy because I've just been having a rough time recently. Been trying a lot, honestly, but... So, I'm not gonna do that right now, but thank you. Mm -hmm. I did just refund the points to you. Yeah. Then, that's very fair, yeah. Hey, you two over here. What's up, Beverly? You two seem like you could go for a slice of cake. What makes you say that? I'm just very perceptive, Melody. I can tell these things. Also, I've got kind of half over half. I've also kind of got half a leftover chocolate cake in the fridge, and would rather share it with my friends and throw it out tomorrow. What do you think, Mel? Yeah, that sounds nice. Let's treat ourselves. Great. Let's head inside. Here we are. Two slices of chocolate cake for the lovely couple. Enjoy! Oh, I like this place. Sure you don't want to pay for this? Oh no, it's on the house. You're just looking to sell the cake so you made too much of this morning. <laughs> Probably owed one of you a favor anyway. Thank you, Beverly. I'll leave you two alone then. Oh, if you need me. Yeah, her tail is wagging. It oh my god, it is. Yeah, that is adorable. Oh, that is so cute. Holy shit, I didn't notice. Also, a shout-out to, like, it poking through the chair. Fergonomics is really interesting. <laughs> HP now. Oh, free heal. Okay. You know, if we were a real couple, we'd be sitting here drinking one milkshake with two straws. Wouldn't you wag for cake? Yeah. You want to ask for a milkshake? You can just have a milkshake if you want one. Oh, no, no. That'd be way too much sugar, even for me. So, what have you been up to lately? been a while since we, you know, talked. 
Fair enough. Yeah, um, let me type it out. Fergonomics. Yeah, uh, Fergonomics is the theoretical study of how a world in... Oh, ah. Uh, yeah, quoting from Wikifer. Fergonomics, furry er ergonomics, is the theoretical study of how a world inhabited by furry characters differs from a human world in ways other than its inhabitants. Where normal s stories tend to note the gross differences, e.g. the role of predator prey relations in normal relationships, Fergonomics studies the small differences, that is, consumer goods, like political correctness, linguistic differences, etc. Fergonomics issues are sometimes mentioned in stories in which furry characters act in a very human manner to make clear that the furry still differs from the human. Yeah, it's just like, things like just chairs with holes in them for tails and such, or like just special, or like just, ah, Fergonomic like headphones are always just really cool, like all the ideas people have. Just, um, like, like shoes for like, um, Animals with digitigrade legs, just all that sort of stuff. Like, just, it's just cool, like, it's just cool. <laughs> oh my god, I just, <laughs> I just got sent an image from one of my friends. Uh, uh, I need to pull this up on stream real quick. They drew this based on a conversation in... One of my group chats. Uh, it's per Maybe I'll look in some of this up for my book when uh, then I want to get back to mood. Yeah, um, let me pull up this picture. It's, oh, it's so good. Oh. Might take a little while, but, um. <laughs> it's so cute. Look at this. Look at this. It is, this is just adorable. <laughs> oh, this is by my wonderful friend, X, who is great. Yeah, um. Also, um, trying to make sure that one of did I just never save? Oh, I did. There they are. Okay. Making sure this is the right one and not the toss one. Yeah. Oh, that's real big. Ooh. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Uh, I also got this piece recently from Ying, aka Milky Lemon, who you may recognize from Yuki's 4P, which Cell and I played like a while back, and also Scheme, its sequel. But yeah, just. Ying's art is so fucking good. Please, like... Like, let me pull up their... Like, please, please, please go play their visual novels, pay them lots of money. They, they're, they're... Um, they are genuinely fantastic and wonderful. Elevator music in the background, pretty catch me. I know, like, just... I do this, like, three-fingered peace sign in person, like, all the time. <laughs> like, I all the time. Yeah, no, it's... Look at this. It is just... It's so good. It's so good. Oh, my God. I love this so much. It's amazing. Oh. Yeah. God, I love... Lemma. I have such good design been a while since we, you know, talked. I've mostly been studying all that material on healing magic that Claire gave me. Lots of little mana management exercises, deep breathing, focusing your thoughts on a spell. Took lemon. Where have I heard that from? As I mentioned, um, you've 
heard it from my streams, probably. I've played a few games by them. Yeah, no, Ying does good stuff. That sort of stuff. Nice, but you could have done some of that studying with me, you know. I know. I'm sorry I haven't been around lately. I just... I don't know. No, come on. Talk to me, Mel. I guess it just felt like... People would think I wasn't taking it seriously if I didn't get at least a simple healing spell or two down before showing my face. Melody! I want to give you a hug. You deserve a hug. I wanted everyone to see that I really am trying my hardest. I mean, I admire your commitment, and I'm real impressed by that healing spell you used on me. For my attention span is squirrels on coffee, yeah. Kind of felt like the fresh, tingly sensation you get after... Rinsing it with mouthwash. Except everywhere. Ooh. But you do know everyone's got your back, right? You don't have to prove anything to anyone. Oh no, it's complicated. Talk about it. Everyone's so encouraging. Well, everyone except Paula, I guess. But are they just saying that because they're our friends? Like, they don't know I'll succeed. I can't see the future and I've never done anything like this before. My back, back. They're just trying to be supportive. And part of me thinks all that support means I have a lot to live up to now, and I'll let everyone down if this doesn't work out. But it's not like I want everyone to tell me they think I'll fail, you know? So, it's complicated. Melody. I know, I know. Sorry, I'm just thinking. What about you? You gotten much training done? Eh, not really. Claire says at a certain point I'll only get better at fighting monsters by, you know, fighting monsters. I hadn't had a chance to go on an expedition or anything, and a uh, whole hound or two aside, there aren't a lot of monsters to fight around town. Esme doesn't really sound that complicated, yeah. Too bad that Faith and the Paladin Brigade are so good at their jobs, huh? Eh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably tell you the big news. Brace yourself for this one. I'm braced. I quit my job! Yep, no more working my butt off tromping down trees for minimum wage. Put in my two weeks notice, uh, two weeks ago now, actually. It means I can focus on adventuring full time. Nice! Guess you've really got a good feeling about this guild thing, huh? I really do. I mean, why shouldn't I? I know it's a risk, but if this works out, I'll be making way more money than at my old job. Even if it's hard work, I'll be doing something fun with my friends and with the love of my life. Oh. Oh. My thoughts exactly, Melody. Oh, speaking of the guild, have you seen Claire lately? Jody said she's been working on some kind of project. I love at least. At least you can make way more than men chopping down trees, yeah. Yeah, no idea what's up with that. Her never tells me anything. You know how she can be. I said no guild business today, though. Well, I'd at least like to tell her about the progress I've made. Fair enough. Hey, Beverly, what about you? Any idea what Claire's been up to? I don't know. All that magic stuff Claire gets up to is way over my head. But I'm sure it's something cool knowing her. I'm not sure if knowing it involves magic makes me more or less concerned. I'd try asking Jody if I were you. Oh well, thanks for the cake, babe, Beverly. It was great as always. Maybe we should go ask Jody what Claire's up to just to have some peace of mind. Alright. Man, all those baked goods look really, well, good. I realize we just had cake for lunch, right? That doesn't mean I can't look forward to my next dessert. Also, shouldn't you be careful around chocolate? Isn't that stuff super poisonous to cannons? Oh, no, it's fine. That's only true for regular cannons, not beast folk. Oh, like, that's Fergonomics. Guest book for the end portion of Pigledies. I've had a lot of interesting people have stayed here over the years. Think anyone famous has ever stayed here? I think I saw someone vlogging in here one time. Maybe there was someone well-known. How well-known could they be if you didn't recognize them? Admittedly, I'm not sure I could tell apart a lot of the famous ones either. No, I heard one time that most of the generic influencer dudes who seemed to come out of nowhere were all birthed with dark magics by some company. 
They're all clones or something, and it's allegedly like our part of some plan by the big networks to get a piece of that internet pie. Well, I mean, that's a bit dated. Eh, not, not super dated. Like, the term, like, people still absolutely vlog, just not with that term. Not sure I like the sound of internet pie. Wait, what were we doing? <laughs> ah. Alright. Oh, hey, Jody. Maybe I'm just holding you. Well, that's a relief. What is? You two are spending time together. I've been pretty worried about Allison lately. What are you talking about, Jody? I've been perfectly fine. By perfectly fine, you mean starve for attention because your girlfriend was ignoring you, then sure. Say that as if I'm not always looking. Mm, fucking mood! Oh my fucking god. Allison, if you miss me so much, why didn't you just come over to my place? You know, that's a good question. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. <laughs> Dorks. You two lovebirds don't need me anymore. I'm just gonna get back to what I was doing. You were doing nothing, Jody. Have you seen Claire? Actually, I've seen Claire lately. Nope, she says she's been busy with some sort of top secret, very important guild project. Nothing good can come from that. Didn't mean a fan, but... Nothing good can come from that. Yeah. Nope, she just said she's been busy with some sort of top secret, very important guild project. One that she didn't want my help with. Aren't you a little concerned about what Claire's been up to? Maybe, but I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Jody, sometimes I worry you let Claire get away with too much. What do you mean? How about the time she accidentally cast a spell that swapped your arms with your legs? Hey, magic's tricky. You fix it and learn from her mistake, and that's all that matters. What about that time Province was trying to give a speech, but her mic wasn't working? Yeah, didn't she try to cast a volume-increasing spell on Province? But it was way too loud, and it wouldn't wear off for 48 hours. Yeah, and Provis tried to keep quiet, but of course Holly and Rhett kept trying to get a rise out of her because they thought it was hilarious. Actually, that was pretty funny in hindsight. Listen, I'm Claire's roommate, not her mother. She's also an adult. It's not my job to discipline her or anything. I mean, come on, we all make mistakes. Once I was trying to practice this four shield spell with face, except I accidentally made it way too big, and it smashed right through the wall in her office. Wow, I didn't even know about that. I'm gonna have to remember that one for the next time you rag on me for breaking stuff. Yeah, great. <laughs> Look, all I'm trying to say is, Claire needs someone to be supportive of her and her ambitions. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I saw Claire looking for something in your basement, Allison. The basement is open. Just been down there a while, though. Should I probably go check on that? How come you're not hanging out with Faith? so rare to see her get this much free time. I wanted to do a little painting, so I figured I'd let her have some space. I mean, it's not like we have to hang out all the time. I understand she's a busy person. I just appreciate the time I managed to spend with her, and the rest of the time I let her live her own life. Oh, Jody, that... Hey, curious about what's in the base. Yeah, uh, that's where we're going next, I think. Smart? Emotionally mature? No, it's... True proof that Mel and I are green rich is true power cup. Allison, you fucking dweeb. <laughs> Up top, Mel. <laughs> oh, they're great. Save. We're going down here. This cannot be good. I know I just saved, but I feel, I feel like I need to save again. This cannot in any way be good. Claire, what? Why are my basement walls covered in trash? I can assure you, not trash. 
I like the lights. They're festive. <laughs> How long have you been in my basement? What are you even doing here? Listen, I'm sure you have a lot of questions. And I can answer those questions if you think if you have some free time and think you're ready for something special. Give us a minute. I just realized we should probably buy a chest piece for Allison. Nothing good can come of what is in that basement. Back again, I see. Well, I've still got some fine products in stock. Yeah, these are going on to Allison. Alright, two T's to revival. I've got plenty of potions. Okay. Yeah, I don't trust what's in that basement. I. <laughs> this feels bad. So. There. Obviously set up, yeah. Player, what? Alright. Been through this, yep. Ah! Also, we're gonna get five kisses. Um, you can, um, Allison and Melody can kiss in combat, and that counts toward it. Then there was one kiss in a cutscene. We're ready. I guess we're ready? What are we ready for exactly? Wonderful. All you need to know is that your basement is now the entry. You can you can kiss. Yeah, Allison and Melody can kiss, and it gives them the infatuated status, which boosts all their stats. <laughs> your basement is now the entrance to a dungeon. A dungeon! Oh my god, the the rainbow deck. Oh no. What? Oh dear. The wave two text. See, as your new guild master, it's my responsibility to give you two, the two of you, a proper education when it comes to adventure. Our previous attempts have been interesting. But it was obvious we needed to start smaller. I needed a controlled, subterranean environment to really replicate that authentic dungeon experience in a more accessible manner. And, in case you hadn't noticed, this is the only house in the neighborhood with a basement. Lucky you! So now your house has this cool underground labyrinth that we get to explore, together, as a team. It'll be so much fun! Claire, just because you're my new boss or whatever doesn't mean you get to bust into my basement and do some radical remodeling. Education, right? That's what this is. Education, no. Not a portal to insert dimension here. Okay, first of all, you hardly use this basement. Let's be real. This place is a rental! How am I supposed to explain this to my landlord? I'm sure the th see this adds a lot of value to their property. Look at all this extra square footage. And where the hell did you put my stuff, huh? It's uh it's around here somewhere. I may have put it in hammer space storage or something, I don't know. Where? I don't even know what to say. How about wow, thanks, Claire. We sure did put a lot of effort into handing us our first adventure on a silver platter. Okay, this is a lot, but let's just all stop and take a deep breath, okay? No yelling. More water. Melody, what about you? Isn't this perfect for you? You get to do the... You're training right from the comfort of your own girlfriend's home. Yes, you certainly put a lot of effort in this. Oh, thank you for the works, Kenny.
basement dungeon. Didn't expect it to turn into that kind of game. In a uh, light novel title, I accidentally turned the basement of our rental building into a training dungeon. <laughs> well, underneath it. You've been practicing those spells I gave you, right? Don't you want a chance to show them off? Come on, this'll be fun. Sounds more like... There, this sounds like more your idea of fun than mine. No, believe me. I'd find it just as fun to drag you two in the li to the library and lecture you on your new magic powers in a more academic setting. That's probably part of why the basement got turned into a dungeon, yeah. Innuendo, yeah, this is super lesbian animal RPG. But putting you in mildly dangerous situations and making you ability you use your abilities as part of a team is much easier. Does this dungeon have monsters? Wait, does this dungeon have monsters? Oh, absolutely. I use dark magics to summon some evil monsters just for Claire. 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 What the fuck? Claire. This is a rental. Of course you did. Wait, monsters? Real monsters? Oh, real-ish. They're more like dark magic constructs, I guess? Ah. I'll still put up a fight, though. Hmm. I do like fighting. Claire lost the deposit on this place two weeks in. Okay, she can dismiss him, yeah. Okay, fine. Still not crazy about this basement dungeon idea, but I've been dying to see some action. Make sure you put everything back to normal later. I don't need rowdy basement monsters trying to eat my face in the middle of the night or whatever. I'll put it on my to-do list. Anyway, I was waiting for Jody to show up before starting, but you know what? I come up with some not always stupid, but usually stupid ideas, but this is a bit much, yeah. Dying to see some action, sad melody noise. I think we can handle this on our own. Oh, it'll be just three pals on a fun-filled dungeon adventure. Are you really sure that's a good idea? Come on, what's the worst that could happen? Chat, what the fuck did I just see? Thank you for the posture chat, Kenny. Chat! Chat! <laughs> what the fuck was- What is this fucking game? I love it! <laughs> yeah, this game's sense of humor. Oh, this is one of those ones, huh? Oh, actually, could we postpone? We we're kind of on a date or whatever. More or less. I mean, unless you're okay with being a third wheel. I don't really care. Claire joins your party as the third wheel. <laughs> thank you for the, thank you for the clip. <laughs> uh, feel free to like drop that in my. Yeah. Hi, hello. Yeah, feel free to drop that in my, uh, Discord, by the way. Okay, but fair warning, I could start macking on my girl at any time. No, really. You don't say. She's primarily driven by impulse, Claire. Sure. Some real hardcore tonsil hockey, if you catch my drift. Okay, that might be an exaggeration. Listen, you two are making it weird now, just so you know. Can we go? Wop and spit. I get it, Allison. Planting a big smacker. Moochin. This is your revenge for me trashing your basement, isn't it? Yep! Yep, it is! Face sucking. Locking lips. Puckering up. Watching submarine races. Can we just go already? Okay, that was good. What's in here? Ooh. 
I'm gonna delete that. Two ethers. Gnarly. And here. I don't even remember what's in these boxes. Let's see if there's something cool in there. Allison, do you... Don't you know what's in your own basement? You gotta have some mysteries in your life, Mel. Keeps things interesting. Okay. Two potions. Tubular. Oh, I love this game already. No, we... Ah, uh, we've got them coming in again, huh? Oh, we're having a time, huh? Shield mode? Yeah, I think... Yeah, if we get another, I think it's time for shield mode. There we go. Okay. Someone's got some free time. Oh, and if you guys feel like this is too rough, there's always plan B. Just open up the inventory and use the difficulty selector in your key items tab to enable easy mode. Okay. If you didn't go get a life, yeah. Oh, that's an evil box. Dust Bunny! Oh, Dust Bunny appears. Yeah. Testing, yep. Right, so yeah, we've got these. Okay. Right then, what do you have? Just Scorch, okay. I'll attack the other one. Mwah. More kisses. Oh, okay. There's your weakness. Oh, and you're burned. Oh my god, burnt dust bunny. Claire, why did you think it was a good idea to light it on fire? Oh no. Huh, kinda looks like its demonic side is coming out. Well, you learn something new every day. Ouch! Okay, um... Time to take this one out fast, then. Flaming hot dust bunny, yeah. Bada boom. There you go. And I think we can just attack here. <clears throat> oh, still not dead. Grab some marshmallows. <laughs> Rude. There you go. Hey, we did it. Oh, hey, treasure. I think, um, treasure, yeah. I'm gonna just see if things are, like, chill now. If they are, good. If not, I can just turn it back on. Okay, got a fork in the road. Ooh. Hi, hello, Dust Bunny Sage. Delightful. There's one thing I've learned, but turned on Twitch chill is not a thing yet. So cozy, yeah. Oh, uh, you're gonna be Melody. Do I try it again? Yeah. 
is a twi thing on Twitch, yeah. Miss. Plus burn, okay. Oh! Ow. There. I'm gonna kick the hat. Go find Claire, yeah. Claire to count. <laughs> Very with certain demographics, yeah. But you can just... Yeah, just kiss Allison. Yeah, it's great. Yep. Yeah, um, yeah, Melody, Mel yeah, Melody and Allison can kiss him. Oh! Now it's a fiery flaming dust bunny. Howie. Rare with certain demographics. Take the word for it. Yeah. Totally fooled into thinking Claire was a giraffe from her colorway. Yeah. <laughs> Not bad, team. This'll come in handy. Basement dungeon key! Wow, even the keys are cardboard. Hey, if you think you can make a better dungeon with real locks and keys, then be my guest. Alright, one key. Checking. No, that's... Okay. Need two keys, okay. What's back here? No peeking. You can't go back there until you find two keys, just like it says on the door. Why do we need these keys? I mean, okay, I know, I know you set this up, but what's lore supposed to be here, Claire? What? I'm surprised I haven't set up some kind of overly dramatic story around this place. Like, come on, get us in the right mindset here. What's the scenario? Let's pretend it's not just you telling us to fight stuff. The dungeon there locks you. Okay, let's say, uh... This is the lair of the dust bunnies. Very, very evil, those dust bunnies. Are they really that evil? I mean, they're basically training dummies made of garbage programs solely to try and beat us up. Well, I wouldn't classify them as good, no. Also, the magic I used to get them may have been slightly demonic. Or like demon adjacent? I don't know. Claire. Come on, ham it up, Claire. They're so evil, you guys. They like, they rob orphanages and say rude things to puppies. Yeah! And let's just say that they stole something important from me and locked it behind this door. Do we need to unlock the door, fight the head dust bunny, and get my thing back? Okay, now that's better. Fair enough, let's get those keys. Whoa. Okay, this just goes from here. Oh. Think rude things to orphanages and stole things from puppies would hit harder, but also that hits pretty hard, yeah. I can't go through there. Got it. Anything special to, like, the save points in here? Doesn't look it. Didn't mean to save twice. I'm used to, like, a game save text coming up. Ooh. Tip. Playing from battle. All right, yep. Lock something important to me, like... Yeah. All right. Basement dungeon key! Okay, great, that's both keys. We can move on to the end of the dungeon now. No, I have to admit, I'm actually kind of having fun in here, Claire. Good. I worked really hard on all this. Fox! Two of them! Oh, preemptive strike! Hell yeah! Didn't know we had those. Uh, you're gonna first aid... Okay, and you can scorch that one just because it takes a little while for it to turn into a flaming dust bunny. Oh, it, shit, it resists. Okay. Well, if they're friendly, yeah. Um, I need, ah, oh, I need two segments. Okay. that shirt say what's poppin'? Yeah. I'm not sure what it says. 
Oh, I think when you knock off that, it turns into a regular dust bunny. That's what's going on. Okay. Rude. But sure, the one on the sage dust bunny, I think. Wasn't really legible, yeah. Someday I'll get to use my damage over time ability. Alright, nice work. Treasure! Ten gold. Really, Claire? Only ten gold? Money doesn't grow on trees, you know. I had a hundred in my couch! Return with hot cocoa. Welcome back! Actually, couldn't you use magic to plant a money tree or something? I almost tried that once, but it turns out it's considered counterfeiting and is very illegal. Who knew? Just, you're only gonna put ten gold in there. Why even bother putting a chest here? The chest itself is probably worth more. Actually, hey, can we just take the chest? Please don't. Look, okay. Here's the spare potion I was keeping in case of emergencies. Happy now? You were keeping secret potions? Kind of reminds me of the old 95 games I could play as a child. Yeah, that's definitely the goal. That's the crimson. You didn't really think I'd let two of my best friends get horribly maimed in a dungeon, did you? Wow. Thanks for the vote of confidence, guys. <clears throat> Horribly maimed by dust bunnies. <laughs> oh, I just did nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna try something this time, so... Skills. Kiss. Very evil dust bunnies, yeah. <laughs> So now, rude, rude. Okay, time for more heals. Allison, you're gonna do a high kick. I didn't mean to kill only Maim or seriously injure. <laughs> and let's see, is this? Am I correct in my assumption? High kick. Oh, that wasted the star. Rude. Alright, you're gonna heal Allison. You're gonna kiss Melody again. You're gonna go after that dust bunny. The kiss count increases. And now I can use my DOT. Yay. <clears throat> after healing Claire, Jesus Christ. Please hit this time. Right there. Good heals. Oh, it doesn't. Alright, it doesn't knock off its hat or anything. Okay. That is its weakness, though. Dodge! Yay! Alright, now I can finally use Resolute Seal on that one. You're gonna finish that off. Alright. There! Ba da ba boom! Resolute Seal! Ooh. Alright. And attack, and attack. Oh, there's got full star power, but nothing to use it on. Oh. Great job, team. Alright, yay, Allison levels up. Ooh, dive bomb. How long until I'm able to, until I'm strong enough to lift Mel over my head? Oh, that's adorable. <clears throat> Neat. Box. A picnic set? Couple goals, yeah. Wow, nice of you to provide refreshments in your dungeon, Claire. That's enough to heal all of us in a pinch, so be sure to use it wisely. Also, remember that we can't use a picnic set while in the middle of a fight. I mean, it's your dungeon, Claire. Can you just make the monsters wait for us to have our snacks? That depends. You 
eat a whole meal in six seconds? Is that a challenge? Please don't ruin this lovely picnic set I bought by trying to scarf it down in one combat turn. Oh god. Dorks. Alright. Yep, we're not up to ten kisses. So let me just check. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I think I'm fine with... Um, actually, you know what? I have ethers. There. Not be surprised if they still let you do it, yeah. Well, we got two keys. What now? Oh, guess it's open now. Okay, this is it, you two. The final battle. What's in there will put your skills to the test more than anything we've faced so far. Oh shit, the door disappeared, yeah. Need a whole meal in six seconds, but no, I've eaten a whole pound of spaghetti and meatballs in 13 points. That, that doesn't sound fun, Christ. Oh dear. I hope you two are ready for a tussle. A tussle? Really? What? What's wrong with calling it a tussle? Well, the way you've hyped this up, it sounds like a little more than a tussle. Boss, probably just a bigger dust bunny. Maybe a brawl? What about a fr fracas? Can we just get this over with? Those monsters are itching for a tussle. Okay, now you're just being difficult. I'm always being difficult. <laughs> At least you admit it. Okay, here we go. My first real chance to show you two what I've got. Don't blink, you guys. Big Dust Bunny. Alright, Dive Bomb is too okay. Never misses, ooh. Alright, well. Oh, this, um. Looks pretty small, yeah. What? Fills the whole box, yeah. Alright. This is gonna be fun. Actually, does kissing Allison give points? Let's try a high kick real quick. Let's see if that's a weakness. Oh god, you set on fire. Yeah, this will be fun. Alright, so that does give star power. Okay. Oh yeah, that's a weakness too. Nice. Oh! Now I have the giant flaming dust bunny. Well, I have first aid. Get that dust bunny. Oh no. Alright, first aid. Fucker. It's good to know that enemies can have multiple weaknesses. Alright. Resolute Seal! Still weak to high kick? And skills. Yeah, I keep going with Scorch. How many ducks do you want? Yes. <laughs> oh, now it's resist. Okay. Sweep his legs. Oh, that's actually a good idea. Yeah. Um. Nope. That's a real good idea. It's skip leg day. Yeah. I want to make a pun. make a pun, yeah. Uh, I am actually gonna like. I do have low kick. I'll see if that works. All right, heal. Low kick. Weakness. Oh my god. Yeah, no, that did work, derps. All right. Um. Scorch. 
master smash strategist. <laughs> Allison can only kiss Melody with no star power? What? Yeah, no. Um, Allison can kiss... Or, no. Um, Allison can kiss Melody anytime. It just doesn't cost any star power. That's our only move that has no star power. Yeah, um, she can also just, like, neutral attack. There's also, like, standard attack and items and such. All right, Big Dust Bunny's been defeated. Great job, team. Melody now. Ooh, Claire's got Blink now. Cool beans. Big Dust Bunny's been defeated. 100 gold and a cardboard box. Okay. That's armor. I mean, I guess you could wear this as armor. It does give five defense. And found the Zircon Saber. Ooh, a sword. Ooh, this thing looks sick. Go ahead and take it, Allison. Did you leave this here just for me? That's actually really nice of you. Magic getting a superpower of blank half. Can be only interpreted as lean looking out the face and yeah. It's also made out of cardboard, isn't it? Imagine getting a super power. Yeah. yeah, that's a very thoughtful gift, Claire. I pulled some strings to get some nice treasure for the dungeon. I mean, I could have kept it for myself, but fighting with swords is so uncouth compared to pyrokinesis. I'm so happy that I'm not even going to complain about how stupid that comment was. Actually, this sword is supposed to be enchanted, but it looks like the gem in the hilt isn't the original. But right now, it's just a normal sword. Which is probably why I got it for so cheap. It's all it takes to get super powers without explaining a few things. But hey, maybe we'll find a replacement gem when we go on some real adventures. Ooh, we've got slots. Okay. Now we're talking. You really think we're ready for that? Sure. You two got through my dungeon just fine. A real one would only be marginally more life-threatening. Marginally? Hey, don't worry, Mel. No clown's gonna hurt my girlfriend on my watch. Promise. Sword's supposed to be enchanted, but someone changed the damn so the sword itself is enchanted. That's not how enchantments work. I mean, like, just... Some, like... Some magic systems have, like, just... I mean, that's how, like, materia slots in FF14 work. Is like, just... Is, like, it's based on, like, the gem. Like, the enchanted gems in the hill. There usually aren't clowns. We should probably head outside ASAP, though. I'm not entirely sure how structurally sound this dungeon is. You're only warning us about that now? This place is made of cardboard. I don't know what you expected. Whatever, let's get out of here, Mel. All right. What? Okay, I didn't put a wall here. Cardboard pocket dimension, got it. Yeah, um, well, it's kind of in the way. We just, have to find another way out, I guess. Oh, I get it. This is another test for us, isn't it? Very clever, Claire. No, it's not. I'm a little freaked out, honestly. I have no idea where that wall came from. You've got a lot of tricks up your sleeve. Can you burn this wall with a fire spell or something? Nope. I fireproofed this dungeon pretty thoroughly so I could cast Scorch without burning the place down. Let's just try to find another exit, like Claire said. There's got to be a crack in the wall or something. Okay, Mel? I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, I'm going to quickly equip Allison with the Zircon Saber. Gemma Hilt's fake, but if the real one's found, so it's for power will be realized. Yeah. Oh, hey. Crack in the wall. Several minutes ago in Green Ridge. Man, I'm bored. Girls have been down in Allison's basement an awfully long time. Wonder what they're up to. Probably nothing, right? They would have invited me if they had plans. Claire. Maybe I should just go check on... 
Oh, text from Faith. Grab your armor and meet me at the tower ASAP. It's urgent. Don't tell anyone. Oh dear. Something's up here. Oh, this is a real dungeon! This doesn't exactly look like a way out. How do we even end up in this cave? I mean, there are a lot of caves under Green Ridge, right? Yeah, but we went, what? East and south? Shouldn't we be back in the east end of the dungeon? Player, shouldn't you know where we are? I never found this cave when building the dungeon, so no. I'm not quite sure where we are. Standard JRPG version of all the main all the characters following the main character, yeah. Maybe we should turn around before we get lost in a cave. I didn't exactly see any other holes in the wall up there. This is kind of our only option. Uh, sorry, just a couple quick texts. Besides, you two are looking for adventure, right? Let's look on the bright side. What's more adventurous than getting lost in a mysterious cave? Uh, this danger sign isn't very reassuring. Oh man, are we... What? What's up? I might know where we are. I have no idea how we ended up here, though. Let's just say I hope I'm wrong. Okay, yeah, I actually know where we are. Let's turn back. Why? What is it? Come on, there's a chest right up ahead. We're obligated to open that as adventure. Danger sign is reassuring. It means someone's been here. It's, uh, it's a curse. Yeah. An old Galetta family heirloom that's extremely cursed. Bomb sealed it away in that treasure chest. You realize that just makes me want to open the chest even more now, right? chest is also booby-trapped. I hope you realize I'm not buying a single word of this. First family room. Nice, yeah. Oh, hey, there's the way back. Um. Oh, whoops, I must have spaced out. I was supposed to open that chest first. Let's head back and get that. Let's not actually... Okay. I've got no choice. I will open the cursed treasure chest. Found Allison's photo album. Oh my. <laughs> oh no. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Allison's. <laughs> uh, Allison put the sign. This could ruin everything. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Hey, this is your mom's photo album. What's this doing here? It's, well... Okay, so when I was 18, I was trying to start fret. Buried for a reason. Yeah, what makes them super lesbian instead of just reg regular lesbian? Uh, the magic, I guess? And also how overwhelmingly gay they are. Okay, so when I was 18, I was trying to start fresh. I wanted to shake off some of that middle and high school dweebiness, you know? Kind of like remaking on social media. So after my mom left, I kind of hid this old photo album of hers filled with embarrassing photos of me in a cave so no one would ever see it. See an insert basically in magical videos, yeah. Just like, yeah, extra lesbian and stuff like superhero lesbian. Yeah, probably. Wow, and I thought I was melodramatic. Yeah, I guess it might have been a bit much. You know what this means, though, right? I've got to see what's in this photo album. What? No way. Oh, come on. How bad could it be? Melody, back me up here. Aren't you curious, too? I mean, I've probably seen most of them before. If we dug enough, we'd probably even find some photos of me. You know what? Fine. It's probably nothing that embarrassing. Just a quick peek, though, okay? Okay, that is cute. 
That is cute. Oh my god, is that your mom? Choose your next words carefully, Claire. Hi. Hello. Oh, that's Allison. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna say she looks like a total badass. I definitely buy all those stories you've told me about her now. What, you didn't believe him before? How old is this one? You look really young here. I think this is before we moved here, so maybe four or five? Which explains why my hair is a total mess. Hard to remember a time when you didn't spend an hour a day on your hair. What's next? Yeah, the, I like your mom fat. Yeah, her hat is great. Oh my god. Who's this? Do you have a sibling I don't know about? That's me. Oh my god? I could, her mom's ear piercings, yeah. No, they're great. Now that one is cringe. Yeah, yeah. I had a scene phase for a brief period in high school. I know, it's stupid. Oh, we've all been there asking. Oh, hi, Nikki. Good to see ya. No way, it's cool. You were just expressing yourself. My parents would have killed me if I tried something that extreme. I had frosted tips, yeah. Anyway, next. Adorable. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, laugh it up. These are not in order now. Your mom dressed you up as a carrot? I was one year old. What the hell was I supposed to do? Man, that's just great. The humble origins of the legendary hero, Alison Galetta. Yeah, I definitely remember why I hid this thing. Oh, relax. I'm only teasing. This is all adorable. You should be thankful your mom preserved all these happy memories for you. Eh. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, that was fun, but now we're still stuck in a cave. A cave that, if I remember correctly, should be on the other side of town. Something is definitely going on around here. Yeah, I never actually checked, like... Yeah. Ah, cis lesbian... Oh, I love the ripped jeans on Allison. An adventurous bunny with impressive agility and strength. She loves punk rock, her GF, and the sound of her own voice. And... Yep, trans lesbian. A scholarly cow with extensive knowledge of witchcraft. Also, a notorious wildcard who relentlessly pursues her lofty dreams. Ever deemed a bwop. Bwop bwop. Thank you for the bwops. There's such things too many pictures saved. I mean, for me, yeah, definitely. Oh, hey. Um. Allison, you'd said you'd been in this cave before, right? Has this void always been down here? Yeah, no. Wow, this is incredible. It sort of looks like the fabric of reality is falling apart. I'm starting to think that that Always Sunny title card was not just a joke. No, it just looks like we're back in your dungeon and that weird magic effect you had going on with the floor is leaking out. Or something. But trying to freak us out with your bonding through danger stick. No, I really mean it. This is not part of the dungeon I designed. Okay, Claire, listen. Is it possible that maybe when summoning the dust bunnies, you got a little more than you bargained for? Do you figure messing with black magic would shoot him in the foot? Yeah. Not a chance. I was incredibly careful about this. It takes much more energy to summon more powerful creatures. I only used a small amount of mana to... Ex summon exactly as many dust bunnies as I needed. No, I think we've stumbled upon something else. Oh dear. A sofa? Well then. Looks like looks like a pretty nice one too. Hey, you know, I could really go for a nap. I'm pretty tired from all this dungeon business. I think I'm gonna pop a squat on this couch and pass out for a little bit. Really? Right here? In this part of the dungeon that shouldn't even exist. I'm a sleepy bunny, Claire. 
Wasn't expecting to go on some wild dungeon adventure today. I need a sec to recharge. I could probably use a little rest here. Don't, yeah, no, I don't trust that couch. Take sofa back to the house. Also, there's absolutely no way I'm going on ahead without Allison. Of course. Well, I suppose some rest could do us some good. Let's take a power nap. Take sofa back to the house, yeah. Oh, all right. That was totally fine. We got healed. The moon. Never happened. Okay. Mimic will never act while being watched by one, more than one person, yeah. Well, that's not correct. Anything from Mimic. Yeah, uh... Keep him wrong, yeah. Looks like corrupted game images, yeah. I'm gonna save. Location, the anomaly. Oh, boy. Oh, this is a lot, actually. Um, and it's almost 10, so, uh... I think this might actually be a good point to wrap up. Um, yeah, I think this might actually be a good point to wrap up. Because I've been going for a while and I'm just getting a bit tired. So, wait a minute, I recognize that stairway sprite. Yeah. Do you, Nikki? Yeah, no, I think I am going to be wrapping up shortly, so. Mystery Dungeon, yeah. Ah, yeah, that's Mystery Dungeon. Yeah. That is going to be it for tonight. Let's head back on over to just chatting. Ah, perpetually tired of my life. Yeah, since joining the mill. Yeah, ah. Well! Ah. This game is fantastic. Yeah, no, this game is just... Great. Uh. Yeah, no. Lunar Nerve Dissonance might have finally kicked in, broke the game. But yeah, no, uh, this game rocks. I've been enjoying it so much, and I will be playing more. But, uh, I'm a bit tired, so I think it's time to go find someone to raid. Let's see who's live. Ooh, um. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go over to. Oh shit, Xandra's live actually. I'm gonna go over to Xandra. So. We are gonna be going with a. Oh. No. Xandra is literally just about to raid as well. Never mind. Uh, Choco Jacks. Yeah, um, let's soft robo raid. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go over to Jacks. So, um, where are my emotes? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Raid Choco Jacks. Thank you all so very much for watching, hanging out, joining in. This has been super fun. Uh, this game is great. Uh, and it is really nice to be back. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Ah, when we get over to Jacks, please do not forget to drop her a follow because. It's cool and just really fun to hang out with but yeah ah next up on yeah yeah on sunday is going to be parallel play as usual i'll be doing ff14 hope to see y'all there but yeah with that i am gonna wrap things up for the night and send y'all on over so how about we get this raid started in five four three two one see you soon